Arriving, one of the Prime Minister's longest-serving critics, Tory predecessor Sir John Major. Thank you. Stepping up to make the case that this Prime Minister's government is starting to put the foundations of democracy at risk. At number 10, the Prime Minister and officials broke lockdown laws. Brazen excuses were dreamed up. Day after day, the public was asked to believe the unbelievable. Ministers were sent out to defend the indefensible, making themselves look gullible or foolish. You are making an argument that the Prime Minister broke the law. You say that people who mislead at the dispatch box should resign. Why are you not being plain with your language today? If the Prime Minister has found he has deliberately lied, it has always been the case that Prime Ministers resign. On a visit to Poland, Boris Johnson was asked about John Major's claim that he was shredding democracy. I think, it, I think, I think that, 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 is, that is demonstrably untrue. Let, let me... Sir John Major made it as plain as he could that he is unsure about Boris Johnson's fitness to hold the office of Prime Minister. In of itself, that's not too much of a surprise. The former Prime Minister has been a persistent critic of his successor post-Brexit. But what's different is that Tory MPs today are less sure that they agree with Boris Johnson over John Major. Many worry how far the current Prime Minister will push attempts to cling on to power. Today, writing on his personal website, a Tory MP first elected in 2019 said that the Prime Minister's actions had been indefensible. He said... I cannot and will not turn around to those people or any of my constituents who sacrifice so much, look them in the eye and insult them by trying to justify or play down the events that have come to light in the media and are now the subject of a police investigation. But some Tories defended Boris Johnson from John Major's attack, saying the party had changed from his day. The Conservative Party to the days when John Major was Prime Minister has certainly changed. There were no ethnic minorities in the Conservative Party, let alone uh, a handful of them being in the Cabinet. At the top of government, they're now waiting for letters to drop from the Metropolitan Police in the next few days. That'll go ahead regardless of the changes at the top of the Met. There are lots of people judging this government right now. Sam Coates, Sky News, Westminster.